This presentation is on the Renaissance Synergy Parallel Data Capture LCD Display Application Project. The purpose of this training is to describe how to install, build, and run an example parallel data capture LCD display application on the Renaissance Synergy Development Board using Renaissance Synergy E Squared Studio ISDE and Renaissance Synergy Software Package, known as SSP. This presentation demonstrates the use of the SSP to capture images from a camera and serve the resulting images as a stream on an LCD screen. The objectives of this training are to install the project in eSquared Studio, build the project on eSquared Studio, run the parallel data capture LCD display project, and verify the interface of the camera module on the DK-S7G2 board running the Parallel Data Capture LCD Display Project. Required Resources The example application targets Renaissance Energy DK-S7G2 devices. To build and run the example application, you will need a PC running Microsoft Windows 7 or 10 with the following Renaissance software installed. You'll need the Synergy E Squared Studio version 5.0 or newer, and the Synergy Software Package version 1.1 or newer. You can download the required Renaissance software from the Renaissance Synergy Gallery. The link is shown here on the screen. To build and run the example application, you will need a DK-S7G2 Development Kit version 3.0. You'll also need a DK-S7G2 LCD version 3.0 board and an OV7670 camera module. The DK-S7G2 is shown here connected to the camera module, which is the OV760, and the LCD, which is the DK-S7G2 LCD. To connect the board, you first want to connect the debugger connection from your PC to the JTAG connector on the target board. Next, you want to connect the camera module and the LCD. We then want to set up the dip switches on two different dip switch locations. Located on the main board, the S5 dip switch, you want to set the JTAG and the DRAM switches to the on position. On the base board, dip switch S101, you want to set the CAM to the on position. Let's take a look at the demo on how to set this up. Assuming that you have properly installed E Squared Studio and verified its operation, let's go ahead and get started. Verify the location of your workspace. Although we're in the configuration perspective, you can change the perspectives by going into this icon right here and selecting Open Perspective. We then want to import our project, so we go to File, Import, select Existing Projects into Workspace. Choosing the Browse button, we locate our project. When you download a project from the gallery or renaissance.com, it will come in the form of a zip file. When you open that zip, or extract the files, you will get a folder. Clicking on this folder, you'll also see another zip. This is our project. Let's open it. Note that the project is selected, and we'll come down here and go finish. Once it's imported, we can then expand the files and select Configuration XML File. Verify the SSP version, the board, and the package, and then come over to the Generate Project Content. Once the files have been extracted, we can go to the Build button, which is the hammer. Notice that we have zero errors and zero warnings. At this point, it's now time to connect the board. I'll take the USB cable and plug it into the JTAG slot, which is J17. I will take the 5-volt battery 
can connect it. Now I'm ready to debug. Go to the debug configurations, select your project, and verify the ELF file is identified. Now we can hit debug. You recall from previous projects that there are two built-in breakpoints. The first one is directly after the reset handler. We'll just hit resume. The second one is right after main. We'll also hit resume. You can do two things to verify it's running. First is down on the bottom left hand side see the word running. You can also take a look at the board and see if uh, it's actually recording an image. So taking a look at the board, let's first take a look at the main board, dip switch S5, and verify the JTAG switch and the DRAM switch are in the on position. The next thing we want to do is take a look at the base board and focus on dip switch S101 and verify the camera switch is on. Now we can take a look at our image, put something over top of the camera, and see that we can see it. This verifies that the project is running correctly. So you'll recall from our purpose and objectives, the objectives of this training are to install the project in eSquared Studio, build the project in eSquared Studio, run the PDC Capture LCD display project, and verify the interface of the camera module on the DKS7 G2 board running the PDC Capture LCD display project. This completes this presentation. Thank you for attending.